How's it there? It's Yoshi Bear. Hello everyone, how you guys doing? We got some big news right here. Massive news. Not just your standard news, but big ass news right here. I'm like, damn, when I read this, I'm like, like that's my face like this. Oh, shiz. So yeah, let's read through this and see what I think about this. So, like, so yeah, at the end of September. So this is gonna happen around so we will see an update around end of September, so like the third anniversary. So the third anniversary is on the 25th of September, but I think this is all gonna initiate one around October somewhere, I read somewhere. So yeah, they're just gonna let, they're gonna re-renovate the whole shop. The pipe itself, big news that pipe's coming out. Well, battle mode's coming out as well, so that's good. But unfortunately I can't live stream. <laughs> oh, so it sucks. Can't live stream yet, so. We see how it goes. By by that time, potentially, my internet would be great, but not looking too good. So yeah, here's the battle mode. So battle mode are coming to the single player, so multiplayer. In this battle mode, each player has balloons attached to their cars. Your goal is to pop your balloons. Your opponents are balloons. But then, yeah, this is you guys are really in a battle mode. Pop each other's balloons. But then again, there there is the lag lagginess in the multiplayer when you guys play with other people. It seems like they also involve like single player as well. I think single, yeah, because like, Batman is coming to single player and multiplayer. So single player, there's going to be, you know, the normal mode where you usually do your rank. They may have an impact into balloons and battle mode into single player aspects. So that's, that's something new and something we could look forward to. But in terms of multiplayer, it's a good thing. But then again, the lag kind of disrupts the whole like system of it. So yeah, sometimes you just get hit by nothing or sometimes your your red shell or green shell doesn't apply to the hit feature. And yeah, it takes some skillful items used to pop their balloons while protecting your own. You can play battle mode starting with the tour that begins on October. So basically a month from now and what, three more days. So along with this update, multiplayer standard race. Yeah, so we already know that they're gonna combine this already. They already gave us a heads up about the combined standard race and standard race, so we already know that. So here's the shop renovation. So we'll be adding Spotlight Shop, where you can purchase drivers, car and gliders featured in the tour. So the Spotlight. So there won't going to be any gacha. So yeah, here you can see that the pipe you can fire by using the route will be removed. So that is a massive change to the game. So oh, I'm like... The, the gacha, the loot box of mechanics, is what makes the game fun, it's what makes it a Mario Kart tour. So removing that all together, oh that is a massive change. That can, to be honest, it may lose some players because some players might actually like the ga gacha mechanics. Three years later, they made this change, it is a massive change. I think they, if they did this in the beginning, then the community may shift to like, the community will be bigger if they actually implemented this from the beginning because you know the Mario franchise has always been the same like Mario Kart N64 you've already got your characters as you could say like instead of gambling for it you can just buy them and at the shop but at certain costs so I think that is more a realistic approach for the Mario Kart franchise in itself when it comes to the gacha it is different for the general Mario Kart players they may have quit due to the gacha mechanics and also potentially the controls like myself the control it, it felt like Mario Kart but at the same time it didn't feel like Mario Kart at all if you know what I mean but you could also say you know how Mario Kart is a really popular franchise that like Mario Kart Tour has 100 million plus downloads but the community is really small so you can it says a lot it says a lot there because I feel like Estimately, 70% or 80% of the player base have probably quitted or stopped playing altogether due to maybe the mechanics of the loot bots. And as, as well, um, the, there is a benefit of this as well and disadvantage because the benefit, it will open up countries that were banned from you playing loot bots games like Belgium. Belgium was a major one. Um, I think there were a few countries that was also close on the restriction on loot bots such as Spain, Netherlands. I know UK was one of them as well, but thankfully it wasn't. 
but yeah, um, now that kind of makes the game immune to that, and it will open up the borders for Belgium to play some Mario Kart Tour. But otherwise, you download VPN, smug yourself in to Mario Kart Tour. But yeah, as I mentioned, because this game has 100 million uploads plus already, 70% of those are, don't even play Mario Kart Tour. Judging by like the community, the community is really small. So if you think about it, if they did implement this in the be at, at the beginning, then there may be like a shift of community. You may, I might not be around. You may have watched the OG Mario Kart people playing Mario Kart Tour. So yeah, life, we, life would have been different back then. Everything would have changed. You want to, you will maybe some of your play, favorite YouTube content creators such as Car Life, Carlos, Shy Guy Kart, and all those might not exist. And you might have watched other YouTubers, but yeah, now three years later, things are going to be different. Now things are going to be different with these pipe pools. No more pipe pools now. There's no, <laughs> there's not going to be a pipe pool in the upcoming future of Mario Kart Tour. None of that excitement. There's going to be none of that excitement at all. But to be honest, I feel like they should have at least made like a gamble section, you know, like the pipe pools that we used to, as well as buying them as well, buying the spotlight. Like, if you want to play, if you want to go through the safe route, just get the spotlight packs. If you want to gamble it, it's your choice and then you could gamble. You could potentially get in the first 10, 20, 30, or you could be at the bottom. But then again, it is good for those that don't like the gacha mechanics because cause then you are guaranteed to get the spotlights of that tour. So yeah, there's some there's some good there's some goods and bads, but it depends how much the spotlight will cost. If it's overpriced, uh, that's gonna be a bad move. That is gonna be a bad move. Um, if it's really cheap, it'll be great, it'll be great for all of us, but then again. It, it, is it is determined by like the worlds as well, the gold pass users, if it's really cheap, uh, maybe the worlds won't invest too much into the game. If it's at the right price, then that's something that they need to work on on their side. And oh yeah, because the pipe will be removed entirely, I'm thinking like what are going to feed Who's gonna feed our normal drivers, carts and gliders, as well as super drivers, carts and gliders? Cause that's the only way of me or us feeding our normals and supers, making them level eight. So you think about if we just purchasing purchasing the spotlight, how are we gonna level up our normals and supers? Hopefully they give more tickets out. So that would be a good thing if they give out more tickets every single tour. So more tickets to compensate the normals and supers that we usually always get in the pipes so so yeah I'm also thinking how we're gonna do that so they need to try to compensate us in regard to that if we're just gonna be buying just one singular item in a pack kind of like the Mies but yeah that's my thoughts there so yeah so the spotlight shot will appear in October, so early October, the first week of October. So that will be like after, what, two more tours? So right after anniversary tour, it's gonna in implement into the Fed tour from now. So the benefit that applies to some drivers, cut some dry gliders will appear in the pipe you could fire by using rubies that boosted them in the second and third course of all cups. So, so yeah, so yeah, this part has been also been removed. I haven't really paid attention to this. That is not included. I think it's uh, they did this because we have so many characters, carts and gliders now. I think they should kind of, they will, instead of having them on there. But there is a benefit to that if you apply for those exclusive new characters. That is a benefit, but then again, because we are, we have so many characters, maybe there will be like at least a backup character that can be used for like favorite course. So yeah, lots of works are to be there there were lots of other things in the works too so yeah this is the plan is first of october then again it can change and you can see that the content timing of the update are subject to change so it could change if like to say for instance the community it start emailing nintendo mario kart tour and all that saying nah i don't want this they might happen they might delay it they might prolong it they might rework it but if we just like 
keep it as it is. It is most likely that they will have this implemented onto the game by early October. Whatever the boss says, you gotta do what the boss says. So yeah. We hope you continue to enjoy playing Mario Kart Tour. So yeah, I hope this game does stay alive. Because I'm thinking like, if Gacha is not involved, what other ways are they going to make money? Because Gacha is a big thing. Gacha can be a business related thing. But if there are other, other methods of Nintendo gaining money, because they are doing well, they are doing well. They're like second place right after Fire Emblem. Fire Emblem is just killing it. That's what I'm going to say. Fire Emblem Hero that is. But yeah, if Mario Kart Tour are still earning enough and still progressing into the game with developments, new updates every every two weeks, then that's great. That's great. That's what we all look forward to. Then that's good news. But yeah, hopefully this change will make for the better of the game. Hopefully. But it's going to be a massive change. That's for sure. So yeah, that's me. That's my thoughts. Let me know how you guys feel about this change. Are you guys liking the spotlight shot? Will you guys going to miss the gacha mechanics? The pipe pulling for the said characters? How do you feel? Are you going to cry? Are you, gonna, are you happy about this? I'm, I'm a bit of a mixed emotion in regards to this, but hopefully they're going on the right direction. And just let, think positively about this. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. Yoshi out. I would like to thank my amazing members for supporting the channel directly. The Hidden Beast the Barian, the one and only, the KFET. Thank you so much. And the Yoshi Barians, Brian Voice, Eri M, Eamon, Roy Go, Dark Vader, Xavier McKnight, Zane, William Frieden, Nikki Doe, Lance, Mario Master, it's Yoshi Spyro, and the rest of the mini Barians. They're too many to see. But they're, they're supporting as well. Thank you all. Really appreciate it. Really do.